Thank you for joining us on the program. Hello. What exactly are the security issues that Google is concerned about here? Well, it's a lot, actually. Um, actually, we see a lot of um, bad privacy practices. We see a lot of bad user configurations. Uh, and we also see a lot of bad uh, security practices. It's, uh, you know, a, a whole range of problems. Uh, we see, for instance, that um, Facebook received a lot of data from, um, the, um, from uh, Zoom. We also found out that there was a lot of uh, bad encryption uh, at the, the Zoom, uh, in the Zoom level app itself. And we also saw that the, um, there even were possibilities to steal Windows credentials, meaning that you could log on to another Windows session. Um, and also on top of that, we got also the, um, the very problematic thing, was, which is called Zoom bombing, meaning that you could dial into, uh, if you know the, the idea of a meeting, and that you could dial into the meeting and that you could do whatever you wanted and participate in the, in, in, in the, the conference call. So this is a bad situation and it was a bad situation uh, definitely for Zoom. Mm, it certainly is really concerning. What is the company Zoom doing to address these issues? As we know, the number of people using it has jumped by tens of millions just in the last few months. Yes, and that's possibly one of the reasons why um, Zoom, you know, yeah, was a little bit, you know, not prepared to to be overwhelmed with this amount of people uh, using their app, actually, which is, of course, a good thing with Zoom. Uh, the only problem was that it was not ready for it. And, of course, then you see a lot of those kind of uh, problems uh, popping up. Uh, they changed already a lot. Actually, they uh, hired uh, the former Facebook CSO, uh, Alex Stamos, for instance, uh, which is... Um, a very good move to do because actually uh, he can, you know, overview the whole situation. And that's, of course, also possible, uh, very interesting for the shares. Uh, on top of that, uh, they are really dot did a lot. They solved, for instance, um, so they changed that it's not possible to view the ID meetings, for instance, and also they uh, put you in a waiting row just before you can go inside the meeting. So a lot of issues have been resolved really in the past two weeks. Um, the only problem, of course, um, well, maybe there will be other uh, problems uh, rising. That's something we don't know, of course. All right. And Eddie, um, thank you so much for your time. Eddie Williams, cybersecurity analyst, joining us from Brussels. Some very important information there. As we know, many people are working from home these days and still have to do those face-to-face uh, -face meetings, but are doing them virtually. All right. Be sure to visit our website for details on all of our main stories. You'll find them at TRTWorld.com. And of course, you can also follow us on social media, including Twitter at TRTWorld for all the very latest information. And do stay with us for continuing coverage. <laughs>